What's up, peoples? Ladies, queens, I'm going to try to do y'all a favor in motivating some of these men. Some of the men that are able to um, understand or be objective or want to do better. I'm going to try to motivate them to being more um, grooming and hygiene savvy. It's a thing of um, class, personal standard. Not being tacky, not being lazy, not being ap apathetic to how we nurture our bodies via our discipline, what we um, tend to think about, our train of thought. This right here is a Revlon Peta Act because, <laughs> and this right here, is also a Peta grooming tool that a lot of you should get. Y'all know what these are, right? Men, use these, use these. There's no way in the world that you should take off your Jordans and still look like you got boots on. <laughs> How you gonna take off your J's or your Brian Brian's and got on Tim's? <laughs> Motherfucker got on feet shoes, like goddamn. <laughs> but no, let me still know. Listen, a lot of like I'm talking to you men that can uh think past the speed limit. You know, we got some cave minded men out here. They don't really, um, they don't really maintain themselves. They have a certain level of bravado that thinks that, it, you know, flannel shirts, jerseys, or uh, whatever that you wear on the surface as opposed to um, depict this, you know, who's beneath it. And that just ain't the way it is, man. A lot of people search dress racks and think that price tag determines their class, determine their personalities. And that is just not the way it is. And these are the and the men that are apathetic and lazy and how they um groom and maintain themselves are the same men that be judging all these women out here that get self conscious, that have um unrealistic views of what a woman should look like based on magazines and shit. These are the same men that judge them to a one a, 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 a one to ten scale and shit. Oh, she a six, she a five. Motherfucker, have you looked in the mirror? What the fuck is wrong with you? The fucker. That's why a lot of, you know, most of my uh, most fruitful friends, friendships have come from engaging with women. True manhood, gentlemanhood, you know, after you already had the soldiers, the alpha alpha mentality, what allows you to be inspired into those virtues on a consistent basis is being inspired by a woman. But you need an example. You need an example, a credible example of that masculine class to be able to let you know that you don't have to lose yourself in all of these things that you think are a lot of these, like, a lot of these dumb motherfuckers think, you know, shit like this is gay. Like, getting one of these is gay, or getting one of these and maintaining your feet is gay. So, you see them, like, with bare claw feet. Looking all rough and shit. Feet stinking holes in their socks. They going on socks that used to be white. The motherfuckers gray as shit. Look like they've been walking in the wilderness. But when you see them upon the parents, you know, when they walk inside a convenience store or whatever, wherever they be meeting, you know, these women that accept shit like that, that make those settlements. And, you know, they put on cologne for them first, you know, few months, weeks and shit to uh, get your goat, to persuade you into looking a little bit deeper. And then y'all see y'all got hooked, hook, line and sinker to a motherfucking caveman. Motherfucker, rotten ass, stinking ass caveman. <laughs> Motherfuckers that don't wipe their ass right. Yeah, because you know you're supposed to wipe a few times, wet the toilet tissue, and wipe some more. Don't just shit, wipe, get up, and walk the fuck out. Because she going to have to fucking clean your drawers. Most of you motherfuckers don't wash your clothes and shit like that. Can't cook or nothing like that. Yo, you want to be the king that she assumes you were. The king that she felt you were in some of those 
conversations that got her to believe that maybe she should give you a chance. So you can always be a main attraction. You don't got to feel jealous when a motherfucker like me say something and she start giggling real hard, showing the teeth. Then you want to go back and choke her the fuck up. Coward. Ass niggas. Fuck me up. But yeah, for all y'all that didn't get, you know, all of y'all that didn't personalize that too much because y'all do that shit. I'm talking about all of y'all neutral men that, you know, are looking for something extra to do for yourself. That can make you feel more empowered, make you feel more virtuous when you're in the room. Make you feel more um, adequate in a room full of ladies. And you be thinking some of them are out of your league. Nah, man. You got to start believing in yourself. You got to start doing some things that instill more confidence in who you are. Not for them, but because you know you are maintaining a valuable person, a valuable man. They're starting to think that we don't exist anymore. They're starting to think that the gentleman is an endangered species. No, it's an endangered mind state. That's what it is. But like I always tell you, man, do you, because I'm going to effortlessly, undeniably, unmistakably, undoubtedly be me without pause, shame, or explanation. If you hate on that, go talk to somebody that listens to that shit. Fuck on out of here. You hear me? Why? Thank you.